Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's workout. Please like and subscribe to Jimra's page if you haven't already to keep up with the latest from Jimra and myself. Have a great day. Hi everybody, my name is Eternity Farrell. Thank you so much for joining me and Gemma today on our strength training workout using weights. I'll be using eight pounders. Please choose a weight that is a good uh, challenge for you, but doable to sustain the entire workout. All right, let's dive right into it. So for our warm up, go ahead and come to the edge of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold in half. I want you to walk out all the way to your plank. Once you are in your plank, I want you to bring your right foot to meet your right hand. Lean into it, step it back. We're gonna do the left side now. Bring it up to meet your hand, lean into it, open up that hip a little bit, bring it back. One more time, right side. Lean into it, good. Left side, lean into it. Now, drop those knees or stay nice and elevated and we're gonna go two push-ups. Now, walk it back in and stand it up. Good job, you guys. Two more, inhale, exhale, fold. Now, walk into your plank, hit the back of that plank, and then right foot up, and back. Left foot, back. Right foot, you guys, nice. Back, left foot. Now, two push-ups. One, two, and then walk it in. Whoo, nice, okay, final one. A big inhale, exhale. Fold. Dynamically move through these stretches. Get those muscles ready to move. Once you're in your plank, right foot, lean into it. Nice. Left foot, lean into it. Right, one more time. Good. Left, one more time. Now, two push ups. And walk it in. Very nice. Okay. So, now. We're gonna do some reverse lunge into a knee hug. This is gonna open up our hips and get us ready to move. So, what I'm gonna have you do is bring your right foot back to a reverse lunge. Then you're gonna drive it up, hug that knee, and get a little stretch. We got eight on the right, eight on the left. That's one. Right side again. And two, very good. Down, hug. Three, nice, make sure you're breathing. Four, beautiful. Five, six, two more, seven, last one, working that balance, brace your core, eight. Your core is your trunk, it's gonna help stabilize you with everything we do today, including this movement with our balance. So, left side, set of eight. Drop that leg, and then hug your knee, because we love our knee, give us some love. Two, very good, right into it, Hug it up, three, and four. Beautiful, you guys, keep it up. Five, three more. Six, seven, eight, and an extra bonus one, nine. Okay, you guys. So now we're gonna go into some shoulder circles. Get our shoulders ready. Going nice, big, wide circles to the back for 10, nine, Eight, get your arms involved. Seven, yes. Six, four, three, two, one. Now, bring it forward. Here we go. 10. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's a beautiful day to be moving. What a blessing it is to be here together. Let's do this together. Here we go for four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna finish this up with a 30 second jumping jack. So go ahead and meet me in the spot. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, as we're doing these movements, remember belly button to your spine, hug your core, whatever that means to you, I want you to flex and engage. Your trunk is your stability through these movements. Flat back always. And just enjoy the process. Very good, you guys. Let's keep it up. We have 
five, four, three, two, and one. That's L. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. Our first movement today is gonna be a deadlift. So, with the dumbbells touching your thighs, roll those shoulders back. Tuck your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Shoulders pulled down away from your neck. Pressing that belly button to your spine, your core is really tight. Pressing those hips straight back. Hamstrings are stretching, reach down to your toes. Bring it up, curl it in. Just like this. Here we go, we have a set of 12. Three, two, one, let's hit it. And up. And two. Three, okay, so what I want you guys to be feeling here, hamstrings, the back of your legs. I wanna feel those um, calves flexing for us. Definitely our glutes, your core, a little bit of bicep and upper body, but not the lower back, okay? If you feel your lower back, be mindful of your trunk and a dip. All right, give me three. Yes, two, and one. Perfect, okay, you guys. Up next, we are gonna go into a row, a bent over row, we're gonna be alternating our hands. So, hips push back, like the deadlift, tight core, flat back. We're gonna go right, left. So we're alternating just like this, right, left. And that's gonna be one. We have 12, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, woo, nice job you guys. Six, keep it up, and I want you to pull it towards your hip bone. Seven, eight, shoulders pushed back. Nine, 10, two more. 11, last one, and 12. Very nice, you guys, good job. Okay, now, keeping our dumbbells, we're going into a hammer curl. So. Our thumbs are pointing straight ahead of us. The dumbbells are facing out. What I want you to do is curl it right to your shoulder and then release it all the way back down to straight. So we're not swinging it. We're not getting all this motion. We're getting nice strict hammer presses, hammer curls. So weights down to the side, curl up of 12. And one, good, nice, two, and three. Nice strict movements, four, very good. Five, nice, six, here we go, seven, eight, nice, nine, here we go, 10, two more, 11, last one, 12, very good. Go ahead and put those weights down. We're gonna do a quick cardio hit, 30 seconds on the clock. What it's gonna look like, standing with your feet hip width apart, we're gonna get a crisscross, Drop our hips, tap the ground, back up, and now crisscross, other side. Drop the hips, tap it down. 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Here we go, you guys. So crisscross, tap, crip, cross, tap. Here we go. So we're getting a little bit of a hop. If this is too much for you, just give me a tap, tap, touch. Tap, tap, touch. Tap, tap, touch. Or crisscross, tap. You got it, guys, nice. All right, 10 seconds. Nice. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Done, very good, you guys. Round one is complete. Sip of water, towel off, grab your dumbbells. So, we're gonna modify this deadlift. Switch it up a little bit. So, we're gonna be going now into a stiff leg deadlift. The difference is now you're gonna be activating your hamstrings a lot more than the first time around. So, note, as I'm hinging back, my knees aren't really moving too much. My hips are still pressing back, so now my hamstrings are getting a lot of the activation here. So, hinge, 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 hamstrings, hamstrings, drive it up. Standard deadlift, stiff leg deadlift. Okay, so stiff your legs. More hamstring focused, we have 12, three, two, one, let's do this. So 
So hips push back, hamstrings, hamstrings, drive it up. Hips push back, hamstrings, drive it up. Nice, down, up, flat back as always. Mindful of the curve of your lower back. Pull that pelvis in. Belly button to spine. Tight core. Five. Whew, six. Halfway. Seven. Eight. Very nice. Nine. Ten. Two more. Stretch it out. Very good. Last one. And beautiful nice job you guys okay so keeping our weights we're gonna add on to our bent over row so first we're going alternating now what I want to see us do is we're gonna hinge back we're gonna go together kick it back tricep down and then release it okay so it's row tricep in release we have 12 of these three two one Let's hit it, you guys. So bend it over, row, tricep, in, release. One, kick back, in, two, three, very nice. Make sure you're breathing. Four, up, back, in, five, six, seven, yes. Okay, beautiful, keep it going, eight, Nine, work hard, you're here for a reason. Two more, you got this. Kick, back, in, up, back, in, and release. Nice job, you guys, that was 12. So, deep breath. So now, for our curl, let's go ahead and rotate our palms facing out. We're gonna go into a nice, wide curl now. So from here, we're gonna pull it out and up toward our shoulders, and then right back down, okay? So palms facing out, we have 12 right here, and three, two, one, and let's curl it. One, exhale as you lift, two, good, three, four. What a beautiful day to be working out. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and with the gym rod to get your sweat on, whatever time it is of the day for you, whether it's morning, after work, Whatever, this time is for you and you only. So thank you for being here with me. Let's go four, yes, three, good, two, and one. Beautiful, those weights, go ahead and put them down. So our next 30 second cardio hit, we're gonna be doing a shuffle, you guys. So starting at one end of your mat, we're gonna tap it down, shuffle, other end of your mat, tap it down. So back and forth, shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. We have 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Tap, shuffle, tap. Drop your hips, we're not folding in half. We are maintaining form, we are maintaining integrity of our spine and a tight core. Form over everything, you guys. Here we go, nice. We have about 12 seconds. Breathe through it, doing amazing. Six, five, four, three, two, give me one more tap, done. Beautiful guys, nice job. So, water, towel, final round of this circuit. Grab your dumbbells. Okay, so this set around, we're gonna go into a combination move we have a nice wide deadlift into a stiff leg deadlift, okay? So we're gonna come in between, up, stiff, up, in between, up, stiff, up. We have 12, three, two, one. Let's get it, you guys, here we go. Reach, up, stiff it out, up. Reach, up, nice, down, up, here we go. Three, up, up, here we go, four, yes. Five, if you're looking for a sculpted backside, 
especially those hamstrings and those glutes. Deadlifts are by far my favorite exercise for sculpting and building a strong backside and a nice strong butt. <laughs> Here we go. Reach, stiff. Give me four. Stiff, nice. Three, stiff. Two, nice. Here we go. One more. Reach, up, stiff, and release. Great job, you guys. Now, we're going into our final round with our row tricep, and now we're gonna add a press. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna pull it up, push it back, swing it up, press it overhead, okay? So again, row, kick, swing, push. We have 12, three, two, one, here we go. Bend it over, pull, push, swing it, up, one, and pull, triceps, up, press, two, row, triceps, up, three. Nice job, you guys. Row, triceps, up, four, good. Breathe, five, make sure your core is engaged. Up, kick back, swing it, six, halfway. Up, kick back, swing it, press it, seven, five more. Up, up and press, eight, here we go. Up, kick back, swing it, press it, nine, three more. Up, 10, let's go last two you guys. Up, kick back, swing it, press it, final one, finish it strong. Up, kick back, Swing it and press it. Very good, okay, shake it out. For our final set of our uh, bicep curl, we're gonna combine the hammer and the wide for our two part movement. So, hammer, out, curl. One for one, 12 on the plate, let's go. Three, two, one, tight core, let's do it. Hammer and wide, yes, strong arms, toned arms, Let's get it. Summer's around the corner, you guys. Summer parties are made in the winter. Three. Nice. And out wide. Four. Nice. All right. Up. Out wide. Six. Up. Seven. Yes. Nice. Up. Eight. Four more. Up. The burn is gonna be really real on this, you guys. I don't want you jerking around. Stay nice and stable. Keep this focus. We're almost there, that's 10. Two more. Yes, final one. Up and boom. Very good, you guys. Go ahead and put those down. Final 30 seconds, we're gonna go into a skier. What that's gonna look like, you're gonna hop to one leg, Reach behind and stabilize or keep your foot off the ground. If you need to stabilize, totally okay. But from there, you're gonna hop to the side and stabilize or reach or reach just like this, okay? So skiers, like we're a bunch of skiers. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, and let's hit it. Reach, bring your arms out wide, reach down. Just like this, nice and controlled. Getting it side to side. Good, reach it back, reach it back. Nice. Halfway, 15 seconds. And we're breathing. And we're breathing, 10, nine, five, four, three, two, and one, done, woo! Nice job, you guys. That's the end of the first circuit. Now we're gonna introduce circuit number two. So, from here, go ahead and grab one of your weights. We're gonna start at the side lunge, okay? It's gonna look like this. You're gonna have the weight in your opposing hand that you're stepping out with. So, the weight's in my right hand. My left foot is now stepping out. Hinging on my weights as I reach down, bring it up, 
touch my opposing shoulder. So reach across the body, up and tap. All right, you guys, we have 10 on either side. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Reach down, bring it up. Now, as you hinge back, focus. Your weight is in your heel. Your hips are pushed back. It's like you're folding in half almost. That's three, but important to remember is our chest is nice and squared and lifted. We're not rounded, we're tall. Up, here we go. Five, six, beautiful, nice. Seven, bring it up. Eight, good. Nine, last one. Ten, and perfect. Okay, so now, switch to the other hand. We got ten on this side in three, two, one. Here we go, reach across. One, and up. Reach, two, three. Other hand is out for stability. Five, we're halfway. Six, seven, chest nice and tall. Eight, tight core, two more. Nice, nine, last one. And 10, amazing, okay. Bring it down with both your dumbbells onto the mat. Okay, so right now we're gonna come into a narrow grip chest press. So from here, elbows are tied to your body. You're gonna inhale and on the exhale, you're gonna press straight up, just like that. And then lower back down. We have a set of 12, three, two, one, and let's get it. So press right up and then right back down. Right up and then right back down. 10, good, nine, perfect. Eight, you got it. Seven, don't stop now. Five, six, good. Five, four, beautiful. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, put those dumbbells down to the side. We're going to be lifting up our shoulder blades off of the mat, so we're engaging our core, however, there is a space between your neck and your chin. So you're not pulling on your neck or not straightening your neck. Instead, you're nice and lifted and you're lifting yourself through your, your, up through your shoulder blades and using your core. What we're gonna do is we're going to lean up. We're gonna tap side to side on our heels just like this. So we're gonna do a little bit of an oblique crunch. We're gonna go for 30 taps. Three, two, one, let's hit it. And make sure we're breathing. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Good. Halfway, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Get a nice reach. Go ahead and give your abs a little bit of a rub. They probably felt that one. I know mine sure did. And now let's bring it up to standing. All right, to finish this up, we're gonna go into a squat burpee combination. What that looks like is you're just gonna come down, you're gonna squat, bring your hands down, bring it back, bring it in, and stand it up. That was low impact. For low impact, go ahead and step it, step it out, step it in, step it in. If you are good and want a higher intensity, jump it back, jump it back in, or any combination of that. We have 10, three, Two, one, let's hit it. So you're gonna come down, hit your squat. Hands come down, jump it, jump it, stand it. One, squat, down. Two, squat, down. Three, yes, squat. Four, squat. Five, yes, halfway. Six. Seven, squat, hands down. Eight, two more. Nine, last one, finish a strong squat. And release. Very good, okay, now, grabbing either one or both of your dumbbells, holding it center, we're gonna go back into our side lunges. But this time, 
We're gonna go nice and wide, and we're gonna shift it. So, while holding your weight center in a nice wide stance, you're going to go ahead and load one end, shift it to the other, and bring it up. Then we're reversing it, shifting it, and then bringing it back. All right, you guys, we're gonna go 12 of these. Three, two, one, shifting to the right first. Here we go. Down, shift, raise. And now again, your hip is pushed back into your heel. Shift, raise, nice. Here we go. Up, three. Up, four. And if you wanna have both of your weights, they can be resting on your shoulders. Or if you wanna go body weight, that's totally fine. Six, we're halfway. Shift, seven. You should be feeling this to the back side of your legs, you guys. Eight. Nine, almost there. 10, two more. 11, last one. 12, very nice. All right, grab both of your dumbbells back down to the mat. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead, bring our dumbbells straight up. We're gonna be doing a chest fly. So we're gonna open it up and bring it right back center. So notice, my elbows are bending and they're coming down. So I'm not going flat armed. I'm gonna keep it a slight bend, okay? Protect the joints. We're gonna go for a set of 12. Three, two, one, body bind the spine. Let's go, inhale, open. Exhale, press it together, one. Yes, two, nice, open it up, three. Now you should be feeling this on the inner parts of your chest, almost close to where your armpits are. This is a nice one for sculpting and shaping that problem area that a lot of us face, right in the armpit area. So this is a great one when it comes to sculpting the upper body and the chest area. Nice, okay, give me five. Open it up, four, very good. Nice, three, open it up, two. Last one, you guys, and make a cheers. Very nice. Okay, next up we have 30 bicycles. Same thing this time, you're gonna be having your fingers, just frame your ears, so you're lifting through your shoulder blades using your core, the space is kept between your chin and your neck and you're not pulling on your head. We're just gonna reach across, and to reach across, we're gonna extend our legs just like that. We have a set of 30. Three, two, one, right side, let's hit it. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, third of the way, 12, 13, 14, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Woo, reach overhead, stretch out your abs a little bit, and then let's bring it up. All right, you guys. Next up, we have a jump lunge movement. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the side version so you can see it from the side, and I'll face it forward to the camera again. Okay, so you're going to step back, hop it to center, hop it back, hop it to center, hop it back. For low impact, we're just gonna go step, 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 step. So if your knees, your ankles aren't feeling that today, just give me some steps. But if you're up to it, let's get a jump. 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, and let's go. Step it back, center, step it back, center, back. Yes! The burn is good on this one, you guys. So focus on the stability, focus on the core, We'll get through it. Nice. Halfway. 10 seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Woo, honey, that was, that was real. Nice job. Okay. Final set of this circuit, and then we're gonna stretch. So grab your dumbbells, sip of water, meet me standing. Okay, just one dumbbell. So we're gonna do this time, so we're gonna go in that wide stance again. 
We're gonna do that same kind of like shifting motion, but we're gonna be switching our dumbbell and our hand as we go. So it's gonna look like this. You're reaching down, center, switch. Reach down, center, switch. Reach down and we're just gonna alternate sides for a set of 12. All right, you guys, for so the last time, side lunges in three, two, one, let's hit it. So you're reaching and you're switching. Reaching and you're switching. Three, up, four, up. Yes, here we go. Six or halfway. Seven, up, eight, nice. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Beautiful work, you guys. You did it. So, grabbing onto both of our dumbbells, back down to the mat. So now we're gonna combine our press and our fly. So I'm gonna have you do is because elbows tight, we're gonna press it up, fly it open, back to center, back down. We have 12 of these. Three, two, one. Let's hit it, you guys. So exhale, press it up, fly it open, back to center, right back down. That's one, up, open. Two, nice you guys, open it up, pull it to center, back down, three, up. Very good, I hope you're feeling this burn, sculpting that beautiful chest, nice. Five, bring it up, nice, pull center, halfway, six, up, open, center, seven, nice, up. Pressing that low back down, keep that core engaged. Up, open, in. Nine, three more, up, open, in, last two, nice, you guys, breathe, pull it in, last one, up, open, center and down, beautiful, okay, put those weights to the side, this time around, we're gonna go into a two-part crunch, so, you're going to reach across, elbow to knee, and then reach across, tap your toe, okay, we're gonna go eight on one side, eight on the other, Elbow to knee, hand to toe. Three, two, one. Here we go. And one. Same side. Two. Gorgeous. Up and toe. Three. Reach and halfway. And five. Yeah. Feel it. And seven. Last one. Reach and reach that is eight stretch it out other side in three two one let's finish strong and one crunch bringing those shoulder blades off the mat two get a full contraction three reach and reach four reach and reach five six half two more Last one, reach and reach. And stretch those abs, because they did a great job for us. Very good. Okay, bring it to standing, you guys. We have our last cardio hit. Okay, so we did jump lunges last time. This time, we're gonna go through some jump squats. 30 seconds of them. What it looks like is a standard squat. You're gonna set your weight back to your heels, parallel sides to the ground, and you're just gonna bounce it up and then land it back down. If that's too much of an impact, let's give me some body weight squats, but with a quick speed behind it, okay? To get the heart rate nice and lifted. 30 seconds on the clock, final movement. Let's get it. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, up, down, up. Breathing, belly button to spine. Feeling the burn, embracing the burn. You've made it this far, don't stop now. Halfway, 15 seconds, power. 10, yes, you can. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and woo! Dang that burn, but that was beautiful. All right, you guys. Collect yourself, water, deep breath, let's stretch it out. Standing, 
grab the back of your right foot, quad stretch. They are probably burning right now from those jump lunges and jump squats. So let's give them a little stretch. They say if you like touch your nose or bring your hand out, you'll balance better. So let's try it out. <laughs> Switch out to the other side. Very good, you guys. Drive this opposing hip forward. It'll help lengthen that quad stretch. Very good. Now, shoulder across. Nice stretch here. I hope that you really enjoyed that workout. It was pretty intense, but you did it. You did it the whole way, which means that the rest of your day today is all about you and getting things done. The workout is out of the way. No need to think about it anymore. You already took the time for yourself to make yourself better. And that's the most beautiful thing you can do. Other side, pull it behind, hand reaching down the spine. Very good, right here, you guys. From here, wide stance, reach down. And get a nice stretch through those hip flexors and down the side of that leg. And now come center, either hands flat or just whatever you can control, reach down. Very nice. And now other side, reach down and across. And just breathe through these movements. Nice flat back if you can do it. Stretch it out and beautiful. All right, you guys, come down to the ground. Meet me on the mat. Let's finish with a five minute core blast. All right, to start out, meet me here, flat back. Okay, so extend both of your legs, hands coming to the either small of your back or your hips just to give you a little bit of support. We're going to start with leg raises. We have 12 and three, two, one, let's get it. So you're gonna raise it up, lower back down. Raise it up, lower back down. Core is tight, back is pressing down. If your lower back raises through these movements, limit your range of motion in those legs. Don't go as deep. Form over, uh, form over everything on this, guys. Good, and raise it. And raise it, give me five, up, four, up, nice. Three, up, two, up, one more, and up. Good, quick break. Now, we're gonna raise our feet straight up. We're gonna pulse our fingertips to our toes for 12. So, deep breath, raise it up. Now, reach up for 12 in three, two, one. Let's hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, two more, 11 and 12. And release and stretch. Now, back over to our knees and our hands. We're gonna now come into what's called a bird dog. And we're going to extend opposite arm and leg, bring it to center, touch elbow to knee if we can, crunch it, and then right back out. We're gonna go 10 on either side. Three, two, one, let's hit it. So extend. In, extend, two, out, three, out, four, inhale, out, exhale, crunch, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And note, as you're kicking back, you're getting some glute activation on that as well. Back down to the mat, other side, three, two, one, and let's extend, crunch, extend, crunch, extend, three, four, out, five, out, nice, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now from here, tuck your toes. We're going to lift the knees, about an inch off the ground, just like that. That is called a beast position. So once we're in beast, I'm gonna have us lift up, step back, step in, step back, step in. Note, our knees are about an inch or so off the ground, so keep those knees nice and low to control the movement. All right, you guys, knees off the ground, here we go. Step back, step in, one. Step back, step in, two. 
three, four, five, flexing everywhere, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, last one, and drop those knees, very nice. Okay, final thing we're gonna be doing is a 45 second plank. Classic movement, but it works every time. So, you can either do this on the knees if you need to, on your elbows, or into a full plank. I'm gonna do a full plank on the wrists for 45 seconds, make sure that we're engaging our cores, we're squeezing everything with one giant flex in this movement. All right, you guys, meet me on the mat. 45 second plank in three, two, one, and we are on, let's go. So, pushing yourself away from the mat. You're bracing your core, belly button really tight to your spine. Your back is nice and straight. Your hips are lifted. You're not dipping. You're not hyperextended. You're right here in the center, nice and straight. We're gonna be flexing our glutes. We're gonna be flexing everything. This is one giant movement of our whole body engaging. All right, you guys, 22 seconds left. And just breathe. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's go. We have 12, 10, nine, eight, let's go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Woo! All right, you guys, drop your hips, press your chest up, go stretch in that cobra, give your abs a little bit of love. Push it back to child's pose, stretch those lats, and very nice job, you guys. Thank you for joining me today on this workout. I hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day.